Hey guys, welcome back. Um, finally had old mate come around yesterday. So we're gonna mark up where we're gonna take the transom out and everything else. Um, he made a valid good point, which I probably should have done at the very beginning, which I didn't do at the beginning. Uh, basically removed all wiring all the way around. So all electronics is all unplugged, everything else. Realized um, one of my two ways, the aerial cable wasn't even connected at all. So yeah, kind of made sense why it wasn't working, but the other one was. So I've got 27 meg and VHF. So I've got twin. So yeah. So all the wiring's done, but this hydraulic hose, I haven't pulled out yet because I, do I just undo it and let the fluid go out or yeah I'll leave that to the experts to sort it out when I take the boat and you get the top taken off so we've come to the conclusion that we're gonna I'll wrap around with the grinder from here across and then we'll come down and then straight across and don't worry about that line we'll follow this line up and back around the corner there so we've done some samples in the transom, the transom's Mickey Mouse. Um, so we're gonna leave that and just focus on the deck and the stringers. So I've still got a long way to go. Um, this is going into my second week now of removal. Uh, so I've got another, what's today? Today's Wednesday, so I've got another week and a half to get everything else done within three weeks. So I've got, yeah, Two weeks and a half to go before his uh before he if i don't make that deadline it ain't gonna happen basically they're gonna wait another month so yeah but i'll give you a look again inside so you guys can have a gander once i find my little um milk crate stand on Ugh. so yeah that's basically where i'm at at the moment um, he wanted me to remove the, tra the transducer. Uh, he can't get the screws undone, obviously due to uh, corrosion issues and everything else. So, yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Just the lead that's running up now is just that one, the two leads there for the hydraulic steering. And then, yeah, and then obviously there's a fuel line going across, which once the top comes off, we'll um, take the rest of it out and disconnect it all. So. Yeah, we'll get into business and we'll um, put my hoodie on, put my P3 mask on and we'll go through, we'll cut this out and hopefully I'm going to ring him and see if I can squeeze it in Friday, haven't asked him yet, <laughs> if I can um, get them lift the top off. But the other problem I've got too, which I realised after I stripped all the wiring out, and it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I'm gonna try and see if I can bypass it somehow or I'll just cut the chain and relink it back up anyway. Is the anchor. So yeah, now there's no power to that at all. I tried to run a loop and everything else, a quick short little loop. Obviously didn't work as you can tell because it's still on the front of the bow. So um yeah, I probably might just cut the chain. I might try and see if I can undo that screw there flathead screw there but it's and uh well it's not too loose not too tight i'll see if i'm going to do those screws there and then hopefully just pull it through and then pull the rope back out this way so we'll focus on the main task first we'll get this transom cut and um we'll go from there change this battery over in the gopro because it's just about to die and uh we'll make some glass fly around and get this cut so we can move on to the next step so yeah all fun and games.
I'll wrap up this little short. Um, so yeah, it's cut, it's done. I'm gonna try and see if I can get some star screws set. I think it's a star set? Yeah, anyway. I'm gonna see if I can get this anchor off and then um, make a phone call and hopefully, fingers crossed that everything's detached, that I can um, Friday, if they can, hopefully. Friday, get the top off, get it back, and then, like I said, we'll just focus removing the rest of that front up there, and then we can just start grinding, 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 and all the fun stuff, and my neighbors will love me, and yeah, it'll be great. So yeah, till next time, take it easy. Peace. Guys, I dropped the boat off this morning uh, to get the top taken off. As you can see, she's all gone, all off. So yeah, now I can reach in here, cut all these sections out, cut that section out of the floor. This one will be staying, um, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. It all depends on this uh, main one coming through here. We'll see how that plans out once I start cutting that section out. And yeah, once that's out, I'll take all the other stuff, bits and pieces, store on the back of the transom there. So um, yeah, once all this is out, that's out, that back corner's out then we'll get stuck into the grinding so that's the plan for the weekend um so yeah we'll uh keep his informed we'll keep cutting i'll um put the camera up and we'll just keep plucking away uh -huh.